Now joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, D.C. Clawson, BYU baseball signee from last week and joining the Cougars next season. D.C., how's it going, brother? I'm great. How are you guys? Thanks for having me on the show. It's Good. an honor. What, uh, what class uh, did you step out of, or what break is it, I guess, uh, in class to uh, join us today? Um, actually, it's economics today, yeah. So Economics? Yeah. You, you only take the, uh, the easy classes, it sounds like. <laughs> Definitely. What's uh What's your schedule like today? Today is just it was algebra two this morning, and then we got economics next, and then we got a game actually. Our last um our last fall game for Dana Hills is today at two o'clock. Okay. So that's the day for us. So now now explain now. Do you go by? We we've, we've been told that you're okay with either, but DC Clausen, David, wh- what do you prefer? Um. Really, either one's good for me. A lot of a lot of from ba- people from baseball call me DC, but yeah, David's good too. Probably DC if you guys want to call me DC. That's cool too. So like we can say that since we're close personal friends, we can call you DC, right? <laughs> yeah, that's no problem. That's, what, that's what I was hoping you would say. <laughs> Ultimately, uh, what came down to your decision to sign with BYU baseball? Well, the ultimate decision was probably the the Cougar Tales, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is a selling point. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. But um. <laughs> really, just the standards that BYU, the, the standards that BYU has is where I want to be, and what I've been living the standards of those living those standards my whole life, and that's what I want to keep on doing. And really, Coach Littlewood and Coach Pratt and Coach Harry, when they had me out my freshman year for my unofficial visit, I really love those guys, and they gave me a great offer. And I'm really blessed to be able to come to BYU next year. Is a is a mission in the plans for you, or has that decision been made? It has not been made yet. We're still, I'm still, I'm still trying to decide, but um, I'm definitely going to play one year at BYU first, and then we'll see what happens. Did you grow up a, a BYU fan? I did, a, a big BYU fan. I always went to, always watched the BYU football games and baseball games. But yeah, definitely a BYU fan. Tell us what your recruitment was like. Well, actually, they came out and saw me. Coach Little came out and saw me my freshman year, um, and. Yeah, so, I mean, I had a lot of schools after me for my freshman year, but I was just, BYU was the right place for me and where I wanted to go, and I was really fortunate to get a great offer from Coach Littlewood and his great staff. So I chose BYU pretty early, about March in my freshman year. It was really no decision. Have you always been a catcher? I mean, I know that's what you're playing now. Has is, is that always been your position? No, actually, I was, until my freshman year, I was really a shortstop third baseman. Didn't start catching until, like, my freshman year. Um, I caught a little bit up when I was younger, but yeah, no, didn't really start catching until my freshman year. Who do you try to pattern your game after in the majors? Oh man, um, I love Buster Posey. He's a gr- really good guy, and um, just really he can swing the bat. And he's he's great behind the dish, also. So probably Buster Posey. So you go to hospitals and try and help with baby deliveries? Oh yeah, with exactly. Full deliver the baby. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Come on, let's take a vote, right? <laughs> So now we know you're one of the top defensive catchers. How's uh, how's the offense? Uh, well, personally, I actually personally I think I'm a better um, offensive catcher, but a lot of people think I'm a better defensive catcher. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's what it, it is. What it is. I, I love to hit. I love to hit for sure, and I love to catch. It's it's. I'm in every play, and yeah, it, I like I like both. <laughs> Coach Mike Littlewood said this about you uh, on the baseball release. DC has an infectious personality. We're getting an idea. Of that, but what made him say that about you? Oh man, I don't know. That's really kind of to say. Um, oh man, I, I don't know. I mean, just interacting with him probably. He's he's the man. He's a really, really great guy. Like, do you have any hobbies that are you know fun that maybe brought that out or anything? Um, it's probably just me being from Laguna Beach, California, and surfing and. Adam probably been a little quirky for his taste. I don't know. <laughs> he probably loved recruiting you, being able to go there, right? Definitely. I bet he did, yeah. Now, you had the opportunity to play with the USA 17 and under national team. What was that experience like? It was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was really, it was really awesome experience and very best to, I was really best to be able to do that. What has Mike Littlewood told you about the direction of this program and kind of the future as he recruited you and other guys to kind of uh, beef up the talent with BYU baseball? Yeah, it's, it's going in a great direction, I think. The recruits that we that we got last year, and then with the new coaching staff we have, Coach Little, with Coach Pratt, Coach Herring, and the recruits we're getting this year, I mean, I really think we're gonna have a 
great shot to get to Omaha the next couple of years when we all get there and start playing together. You know, there, there were five players in this in this recruiting class. Did you have you had a chance to interact with any of them, whether it be on your on your trip or you know maybe through you know, through baseball activities? Do you know any of the other guys? Yeah, actually, I saw we all we all went to our official visits together about I mean a month ago, and all of them are such really good really good guys, really humble but really confident at the same time, and just great players. I actually saw Peyton Henry down at the Area Code Games um, for the Home Run Derby. And he just he lit it up. It was really impressive. He's got a great bat, and he's a catcher also. So I'm excited to have both of us there. And Peyton Henry was uh, on the program, I believe, last week uh, right here on BYU Sports Nation as well. Yes, can sir. You, can you tell us a little bit about the difference of being kind of a, a, a baseball scholarship athlete in the future? Because there's 11.7 scholarships for like 26 guys or something. So you're not necessarily getting uh, – every, everyone's not getting, like, 1.0 scholarship. Can you explain how that works? Um, yeah, so I think there's, like, 11.7 scholarships given out throughout the whole year. Um, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really – I'm not very um, – I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to ask, answer that question I for you. I guess the question is more just it's, – it's interesting because you, you may have to love the game a little more because not everyone has a full-ride scholarship. You're going to have to oh. – I guess you, you get parts of things paid for and you're out on the road, and it's, a, it's kind of a different student-athlete experience, I think. Yeah, for sure. I think you're right on that part. Sorry for not understanding. Yeah, oh, no, definitely. all good. It was a, it was a uh, poorly phrased question. It really <laughs> No way. So, so D.C., when you're, when you're not playing – baseball and you're not taking multiple math classes uh at school what, what are you doing what do you, what do you do to relax and unwind uh, i love to hang out with my family and hang out with my friends we uh, my friends and i love to surf and uh be with be with coach Harris, as he's he's pointed at me <laughs> but um really yeah I love, I love to water ski also my family and i always go to bass lake up in the summertime and yeah water skiing is a great it's a great hobby that i have it's really fun well, D.C., enjoy the uh, final fall ball game uh, this afternoon that you mentioned, as well as economics class. And uh, <laughs> we, we appreciate you coming on the show. All right. Thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. That's D.C. Clausen on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.